People concerned about access to affordable health insurance recently got some good news from President Biden. He recently expanded subsidies for Obamacare and extended its enrollment period. Locally, many people with coverage for the Massachusetts Health Connector will have lower costs, while people looking for coverage will have more attractive options. To tell us how they can take advantage is the Connector's Chief of Policy and Strategy, Audrey Morris Gasteyer. Thank you very much for being with us, Audrey. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me on. Well, good to see you again, Audrey. Uh, this is usually billed, uh, the changes that is, uh, as the patch for the problems, one of the main problems with Obamacare. Which problem are we talking about and how is it fixed? Sure. So the Affordable Care Act was passed about 11 years ago, and it's extended health coverage to over 20 million Americans and has, has helped made great progress on that front in terms of bringing people into the ranks of the insured. But one of the challenges that's long been identified with it is that um, the affordability challenges that people who do get that, that coverage that it made possible um, have remained. And the coverage for a lot of people have just, has just remained too high. Um, in Massachusetts, we have longstanding programs and supports that have actually brought coverage costs down even lower than that, um, which I think has helped us be kind of ahead of the rest of the country on health coverage. But what just happened last month um, in terms of the new law that President Biden signed, the American Rescue Plan, it extends savings to more people than ever before to help bring down their health insurance premiums through health insurance marketplaces like the Massachusetts Health Connector. And for a lot of people who are kind of on the low to moderate income um, scale, it actually brings it closer in line to what we've been doing here in Massachusetts in terms of what people are expected to contribute towards premiums, but in most cases brings it even lower. So it's actually helping bring health premiums down for people in Massachusetts, even below where we've had it here in, in the Commonwealth. The other thing it does is it extends the, um, the categories of people who can qualify for savings on their health insurance premiums through an exchange like the Health Connector. Previously, if you earned over about $51,000, if you were a household of one, about $106,000 for a family of four, no matter how expensive health insurance premiums were to you in your area, um, there was no help available for you, either from the federal government or state government. So you're really on your own. And that's a population of people who really struggled with rising premiums in re recent years. So what the American Rescue Plan does is make the savings more generous to people who are al already getting help, but importantly, it ex expands it to people who are earning higher incomes and says, we're gonna help you too. There's going to be these savings available for you through marketplaces like the Health Connector. I, I know you talked about the savings in an across the board way, but let's say I'm uninsured right now and I'm shopping for care. Do I get the same deal in, in all my options or, or are there different things that work better for different people? Sure. So um, depending on what your income is, you may qualify for a $0 plan through the Health Connector. You may qualify for a low premium plan. In fact, most people who don't have health coverage here in Massachusetts, and we think there's between 200 and 250,000 or so people who are without health coverage at any given time. Um, and we believe the majority of them would qualify for $0 or low dollar premiums through the Health Connector. So even more people who are in that pool of the uninsured will get these great savings if they come and they shop now. Um, and then in terms of what options people have available to them, um, we have all the major health insurance companies here in Massachusetts available through the Health Connector. So depending on what region people are in, they'll have a variety of options to choose from. And there's cases in which people can quote unquote buy up if there's a more expensive insurance company that they wanna buy coverage from, they can do that. Um, but these savings really make it, avail make it possible for everybody to get in the door. And again, most people who don't have coverage will qualify for low or $0 health coverage. So it's really important that people come and check out these options at the Health Connector. I'm wondering about people who were making good money a little more than a year ago and who might be making good money uh, next year, but right now they might be making zero. So where do they stand in this? Absolutely. So I think this, in many ways, a lot of what the American Rescue Plan is designed to do is really to expand affordability for everybody, which is kind of a longstanding goal in terms of health coverage, of course, but was really mindful and being targeted towards the particular situation we find ourselves in in our economy right now. Um, so people in those circumstances are likely to qualify for you know, low, low and probably most likely $0 coverage if they don't have any income right now or they're on unemployment. 
Um, so people will already qualify for those kinds of savings when they come to the health connector. There's also a unique part of the American Rescue Plan that creates a particular um, savings opportunity for people who've been on unemployment income at some point during 2021. Um, and so we're still in the process of that, that implementation, but in the next couple of months, it will be the case that people who are on unemployment can come to the Health Connector and qualify for a free plan. Um, but even in advance of that being made available, people should come enroll in coverage. They're likely to qualify for very low or free dollar coverage anyway. Um, so lots of opportunities for savings for people who um, have lost a job, um, you know, our, their, their income has dropped, but even people who are, are still, still working um, are drawing an income, there's, there's a lot more savings available to people at all income levels. So, so people can come in and see what those options are by visiting our website, which is mahealthconnector.org. I want to ask you about uh, the help with, with shopping, because we're, we're talking about people who might be a little fatigued from securing an appointment for vaccinations lately. But, you know, if they're trying to figure out the different benefits and strong points and weak points of different plans, I mean, I'm imagining just see, seeing, you know, getting quagmired in text or something. Are there people with the connector who can help sort of thin that out a little bit? Absolutely. So people can visit our website, which is mahealthconnector.org. Um, and you know, there's a lot of supports there available for people to answer questions and all of that. They can fill out their applications, apply for this coverage, apply for financial assistance. So all that's available on the website. But a lot of people do want to talk to a live person. Absolutely understandable. Health insurance is complicated. It can be overwhelming, particularly if you haven't had it before. Um, so we work with special organizations around the state called Navigators. And these are organizations with staff that are specifically trained in assisting people as they apply for health coverage through the health connector. Um, so we work with the Boston Public Health Commission. That's one of our navigators. So they're right here in Boston. Um, they are fantastic. They are trained. There are a variety of languages spoken by their staff to assist people with applying for health coverage. They've got staff that speak Spanish, Portuguese, Haitian Creole, French, Cape Verdean Creole. Um, so they are, they are wonderful. People should reach out to navigators. Um, right up the red line, Cambridge Economic Opportunity Committee is another navigator we work closely with. Um, that can help people with any questions that they might have getting into health coverage. Um, and if people go to our, our website, they can find um, these resources by plugging in you know, their zip code and pull up assisters and navigators in their area. So if people visit mahealthconnector.org and click on get help, uh, they, can, they can find resources in their local community that can assist them in person, over the phone, um, and they're, they're well positioned and trained to do that. I, I know things might be less dramatic in Massachusetts because we have so many people covered uh, for health already, but nationwide, I understand since these changes were introduced, more than half a million people have signed on. I'm thinking here, this must do a lot to change human behavior and, and what's going on with their health, doesn't it? I think that's absolutely right. So I think the fact that we you know there's right now there's an open enrollment period happening across the country um, that the federal marketplace has opened up for people um, through the summer. We're running our enrollment period, an extended open enrollment period, um, through July 23rd. And I think you know after the last year, I think it's the case that here in Massachusetts and across the country, it is not lost on anyone how important. Um, health security and access to health care is. Obviously, having gone through this pandemic, it's just so abundantly clear to people how vital health coverage is for people's health, their financial security. And I think the combination of these enrollment periods, promoting coverage, letting people what they, you know, letting people know what they need to do to get covered, and then making it more affordable for people is that's really been the barrier for so many people who've sat on the sidelines in terms of getting covered, is either feeling like it's not affordable or not knowing how affordable it is to them. It's it's considered the case that most people who are uninsured will qualify for free or very, very low cost coverage. They just may not know it. And so I think the importance of us and, and partners all across the country getting out and talking to people and making sure they know these exchanges exist to help people and make coverage affordable. And these changes through the American Rescue Plan um, really bring that promise to life, including here in Massachusetts, where we, we expect it will lower premiums for hundreds of thousands of people across the state. I do want to ask you about one category of people um, who are unemployed. They might be continuing their coverage through COBRA. And there's a good deal for that because that might be covered temporarily. Uh, but when that coverage runs out, what about their opportunities to take advantage of the connector further down the road? 
It's a great question. So the American Rescue Plan did create a 100% federal subsidy on COBRA coverage that began on April 1st and runs through September 30th. Um, so people who are you know, offered COBRA, obviously that's just a tremendous opportunity. Normally for COBRA, people are paying 100% or 102% of the coverage they had through their employer. So it's a tremendous benefit for people who have in fact lost their jobs and are offered COBRA. Um, we're exploring right now whether we can create kind of a, a special triggering event for people to pick up coverage through the Health Connector on October 1st for people who do take advantage of that great COBRA benefit so they know they won't fall off a cliff on the other side. Um, and I know that's, that's under consideration um, at the federal level as well. Um, so people have that continuity of coverage, of course, which, which we're trying to promote. So we'll have, we'll have more to come on that shortly. Uh, yes, lots of things to be answered. So if people want more information or if you sign up for something, what's the best way for them to pursue that? The best way for them to pursue that is to visit the Health Connectors website, which is mahealthconnector.org. And they, as soon as they get to our website, there'll be a pop-up that will give you more information about the American Rescue Plan with um, help on different questions people might have, important deadlines um, for people to keep in mind. They can start an application, uh, find out what they qualify for. And on that website, they can also find access to navigators and local help um, like navigators like the Boston Public Health Commission and others who can assist people getting covered and answering any questions they have about these new savings and how to get enrolled. Well, thank you very much for walking us through that and sharing the good news. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to talk about it with you. Yes, Audrey Morris Gasteyer from the Massachusetts Health Connector. We'll have more news in just a moment.